I'm excited to be in your faces again. Yay, 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 yay. My name is Oge Chima Dukoma. I'm the MDC of Global Just Enterprises and also the lead trainer at Global Just Skills Acquisition Center. Today, I'll be bringing your way another value pack training. Guess what? Today, we'll be learning how to produce liquid disinfectant. What did I say? Liquid disinfectant like Isa. Remember, I didn't say I'm producing Isa because Isa is the brand name for another product. If you use it, you could be sued. So the general name is liquid disinfectant. Then after production, you can add your own brand name. Like my brand name for my product is Lorima. I could say I am producing Lorima liquid disinfectant. Don't say Isa, please. I just use that Isa so that you can have an idea of what we are producing because it is all that's almost taking over the name it is actually liquid disinfectant and today we'll be producing five liters before i go ahead make sure you subscribe to my channel please have you done that because i bring your way value packed training every single week i teach you how to produce various household cleaning products on my channel you see videos free videos on how to produce liquid soap that liquid design i normally call liquid soap how to produce bleach, how to produce various things. And I also bring you away tips about businesses. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe right now. And also hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload my videos. I do that every week on Wednesdays especially. So let's go right, let's jump right into the training. Okay, before I go ahead, let me introduce to you the chemicals I'll be using to produce. We'll be producing a batch of five liters. And here I have my water. I have my water, five liters. This will, this will be a mixing bowl for today. So this is my water, five liters. So I'm going to turn it away. It's already measured five liters. I'm going to turn it into this other bowl because this will be my mixing bowl for today. And here I have it empty. Let me introduce my chemicals. First, I have my phenol and my like my phenol and my fine oil mixed here phenol is a very very powerful chemical so if it is put in such a bottle it can burst it unless you have a stronger but so what they do most time in the market is to mix both of them for you unless you have a bottle that is strong enough to take it so here i have phenol and fine oil mixed my phenol here is one eight my phenol is one eight of a liter why my pine oil is one sixteen of a liter. Both phenol and pine oil, they are disinfecting agents. Phenol is one eight, while pine oil is one over sixteen. That is one eighth of a liter. You bring one liter and you divide it into eight, one part of it. And my pine oil here is one over sixteen. This is phenol. And I have here my Isal concentrate. They call it it's concentrate though, because that Isal has taken the name, but it is concentrate i'll be using one four of a liter for this batch of production and i have here my lysol my lysol i'll be using i'll be using i'll be using one four of a liter also and here okay no sorry this is my Isal booster this is my booster this is my booster sorry not my concentrate this is my booster is one four and this is my concentrate look at them the colors this one is brownish this one is very very brownish this is my concentrate is one four of the liter and i have my isa thickener or whitener some call it thickener some call it whitener i'll be using one four of a liter also and i'll be using tensor point just a bit just a bit maybe like table two tablespoons just to mix it but the good thing is if you go to the market please tell them to label them for you so that it will be easy for you to identify me i can identify them already because this is one that i do almost every every time so i can identify but when you go there please tell them to tell the chemical sellers to label for you so that you it will be easy for you to identify so let's jump right into production just come with me as i go to production it is a very straightforward and easy process and you have your idea ready so i will start what do i do first number one i'll be adding my tether this is tether but we're using just about two spoons i don't have a spoon yet so i'll just estimate a, a little just a measurement that will take about two tablespoons two tablespoons I'll add to my mixing bowl. Remember, this is our mixing bowl. I've added my tether pump. Then, this is my stirring rod. And I'll add my, the second thing is to add my phenol and my pine oil combined. 
into my mixing bowl my pinot and my pan oil combined i'll mix it i'll put it there and i'll mix and i'll mix i'll mix properly until it is well dissolved i added my tether pond and i added my pinot and my pine oil combined properly blended until the tether corn is properly blended tether corn here is like a binding agent for us to help us bind our chemicals together so i'll blend until it is properly blended almost there just come with me they're almost there please ensure you subscribe to my channels i upload videos every week value packed free videos on that teaches you how to produce various household cleaning products or hygiene products so ensure you subscribe please subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time i upload a video so we are done this is well blended so i'm going to add my concentrate my exact concentrate that's the next thing i'll be adding my exact concentrate it is it the that foaming there you see is because of the tether pond. remember in our liquid detergent tether pond is a foaming agent but we brought it in here just to act as a binder for us that is why you're seeing that noticing that foam there but don't worry it will settle everything will settle so i've added my concentrate it is one four one over four of a liter i've added my concentrate it is one four of a liter so when done with that we'll add we'll add Our next item this is a Isa booster let me measure that measure one four is in pre measured already okay this is one four of a liter we add it Just add the chemicals one after the other. This is the next one. I'll be adding one four also. One four. One over four. This cup is a quarter cup. So I'll add one four also. Let me close it because I don't know for you. And I'll stir. And I'll add my thickener or my whitener. Some call it thickener. Why some call it whitener? Just to make to give your eyes that, that a little bit of whitish look. I'll add just one four of a liter. Also. You can see it's very straightforward and easy. Just start adding after you blended your tether pond with. In case they didn't mix the phenol and the fine oil for you. So if, if they separate them for you, they will give you the phenol separately and then the pine oil. Then the first thing you should blend with the desert pond is just your phenol before adding your pine oil. Because sometimes they don't mix both of them. They have a bottle that is strong enough to take them. So if they didn't blend both of them, they didn't mix both of them, what you do first is to blend your desert pond with your phenol. When you've blended it well, then you can add your pine oil and continue. So this is our thickener or whitener. I've added this and 
that will stay out. Uh, liquid disinfectant or germicide, like some people will call it, is almost ready. You can see how thick and beautiful it is, well blended. So once we are done, we've got into this stage. The next thing and the last you do is to add your water. Remember, I said this is five liters. Well, because I'm, I've added almost one liter of all these chemicals, at the end, we'll be getting about six liters. So I'll now finally add my water. Here we go. Our liquid disinfectant is ready. Yay! See how beautiful it is. After here, the next we'll do is to cover it and let the foam set you. We'll just cover and let the foam set. You can see. Smelling so, so nice and beautiful. So here you have it. Your liquid is effect. So after this point, just cover it for like about two, three hours for the foam to settle and you bottle and take to the market. And if it is for home use, please start using it.